Carvel here. I'm back with another video for you guys. We're here at the Williams House in Old Deerfield, which also can be called Historical Deerfield. Um, we were here last year, mind you, and it was a beautiful, beautiful spot. Um, we also toured this specific house a year ago, and I want to take a minute to talk about this house. This is one of the oldest houses in this area. Also, it's the most expensive in this area because um, the Williams family was a very rich family. They remodeled it in 1817 and Mr. Williams had two children. He had a daughter and a son. The daughter passed away after she got married in the house. She was married um, off in this room. I'll show you guys right here. We can't go inside because they're close to the also, I don't know if you can record in here, but this is the exact room. This is the first parlor in the house. This is where his daughter she got married. She passed away. Also, Williams were one of the families taken hostage during the French and Indian War. For those of you guys who do not know, this whole area was under attack during the French and Indian War. A lot of the houses were damaged and everything during the French and Indian War. A lot of people were taken captive and then brought to Canada during that time because of the French Indian War, as I said before. Again, I do love this house. If you're able to come here and do a tour here, I do suggest going in this one because th this is the only one that we had time for that day when we, when we were doing the tours. But yeah, beautiful house. There's a lot to see in there, but there's a lot of narrow areas in here due to it being made. 1700s, early 1700s, but it was remodeled in the 1800s. But this is my favorite house. If you guys want to know more about the history, check out my other video. We also did a video at the old Deerfield Cemetery, which we're going to go cover soon. And we'll see you guys in the next location. Peace out. If you guys recognize this place, we're here at old Deerfield Cemetery. This is the oldest cemetery in Deerfield. Um, all, almost all the people here who were buried here from buried from like the 17 to 1600s most of them are also part of the 1800s like that one right there the dead of 1704 so this cemetery should be haunted only because the reason why I say that is because like all of old Deerfield mind you is a part of the French and Indian War there's a lot of chaos that happened in that war um, also there's a lot of graves that are literally um down obviously you can see like there's like a really broken one that i'll sh that i'll show you guys later but um there's a lot of the williams family so one of the richest family here in old deerfield would be the williams and the next richest family to live in the old deerfield town the historic deerfield area would be the stebbins family but that is mostly for my perspective but also mind you it is also because we went to the williams mansion the last time we were here for a tour um and the last time we were here at the old deerfield cemetery was back in december where it was really really cold it's like it's 60 degrees right now so it's pretty nice um so mr williams richard williams had two children he had a son and he had a daughter um which i brought up in the beginning of this video but they never found his son was he his son went all the way to Florida and he went missing and they never found his body so we don't know what happened to that poor dude but you can tell how old these are and also this is also one of the older cemeteries that there's so many bodies buried here that you're basically walking on dead bodies this whole time so just be like super respectful when you're here is my point because like it's it's even hard for me because the last time I was here is like like apologizing so much and there's so many bugs flying in my face right now but you can tell how old this is you can tell how most of these are because they're sinking in the ground that's how old and how much they're not being taken care of um, I'm sorry if like it keeps getting like dark and stuff like that it's just hard to like focus because it's it's partly like overcast right now you see Overall, it's a sunny day, but most most overcast. But as I said before, love this place so much. This is one of my favorite places in Old Deerfield, besides the William House. Yeah. Oh!
And also, mind you, there's a Rebecca buried here. Not the same, that is not the same spelling as how I spell my name though. Cause that's the Jewish spelling for my name. Sorry if you guys can't see it. But there is a Rebecca though. So like look right there. It's not gonna focus. Oh, no! Okay, it, it's gonna focus, but I was trying. It does focus a little bit, but I apologize if it's kind of gritty. But yeah, there, there's a lot of history in this place. Um, they fixed this one up because you can see the bolts here um, and everything. But it's so cool. I really, um, out of all the really old cemeteries that I've been to, this one's my favorite. Um, probably because it's so small, so it's, it's easier to cover, if that makes sense. But if somebody were to, like, ghost investigate here, um, I'm all for that, because, like, I, 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 I'm, even I'm curious, but, I mean, this place should be haunted, but not all cemeteries are, so, um, and this one is probably one of my next favorites, it has, like, a little pirate theme here, kind of, well, to me it looks like it, but, that one's pretty, and that's also another William Stone, as well. Everybody's like mixed in here. I feel like they did not care. Like where they where they buried anybody. So it's like everyone again mixed over. There's some people who are buried with their families and then there's other people who are not. So And again, as I said before, you're like everybody there's a lot of people who are have unmarked graves. So you're basically just walking on dead people. That one only has like a sentence. Cause it literally says they like died 1700 SS. That's all it says. This one's so cute! <laughs> Another Williams. There's multiple Williams family, so you never know if it's the one from the house that we went to. Or it look, it looks like it says five years. Yeah, it does. It does. Oh, so one was ten, December. the other one was five. Yeah, it's, it's the kids that died. Cemetery does not care because like everybody's just like mixed, mixed in. Like there's some people who are buried with their families, right? And then there's some people who are just buried totally random. And then there's even more bodies buried here due to the massacre and everything. Yeah, it's that the French and Indian massacre. That's their monument. Sixty-three years in memory of Seth Catlin, who died March nineteenth, seventeen ninety-eight. James Course, first of the name in the American Deerfield, 1690, uh, May 15, 1690, age 50. They were alive during the Salem Witch Trials when they started, 1696. Or well, that's the year that they died. It says 1690. Yeah, but... Oh, and then six, he died, what, yeah. six years later? Yeah. I wonder if these were uh, related to the Baldwins. You don't know, but they also the have actors. The, they also have the Course House too. Remember, I don't know if you can um, tour that one, but they have that, so it exists. So yay! <laughs> but we don't know if they're related to those people, but <laughs> it exists. All right, you can tour some of the houses here in um, Old Deerfield, which it, it, it is a fun thing. In my opinion, it is. But, and then you have the older ones here too. This one. Can only read half. Which is, I like what they used to do. Which I, I like what they used to do with the older graves, where they would have like a summary of their their life, and they don't do that no more, which is sad. Oh, they just put in the sentence here because we're not allowed to touch anything in here because of how old this is, not how old these are, and they're just gonna fall apart if you try. And then, yeah. This one is basically my height until I stand uh, on, on 